let's begin. How's it going today? We're going to talk about idioms. What are idioms or idiomatic expressions? And we're going to look at the most common frequently used idioms in the English language. We're looking at this article online. Figurative or literary faces. The English language, chock full of thousands of words and quickly borrowed phrases can be mind boggling. Take idioms, for instance. These common figurative or literary phrases don't make much sense at face value, but you see them all the time, so often that you might not recognize you're weaving them into your conversations at all. According to the Common Core State Standards Initiative, school children in the United States start learning these expressions in fourth grade, right? While it's impossible to tally out the idioms spoken aloud each day, linguists and word nerds at theidioms.com have put together a list of the most common idioms in the English countries. Ready? Let's come through them and check out the 30 British phrases that always confuse Americans. Theidioms.com. Hmm. It looks like an interesting page to look at. So if you want to know about idioms, you should visit this page, definitely. Largest idiom dictionary. Idiom of the day, a burden. Example, the fact is that he did more and went after having an extra marital affair. Now he neither has his wife nor his girlfriend. And then these are some of the latest idioms. Buckle down. Take the cake, run across, in mint condition, where the rubber meets the road. So what are idioms? I hope it's, uh, it's clear that they are, they are expressions that don't mean the literal meaning or they cannot be represented by the words themselves. Like, um, and these are very common in languages. So idioms by Herbert, essential meaning of idiom, according to Merriam Webster, an expression that cannot be understood from the meanings of its separate words, but that has a separate meaning of its own. The expression give way, meaning retreat is an idiom. a form of a language that is spoken in a particular area and uses some of its own words, grammar, and pronunciations is a dialect. We're gonna look at other examples of idioms. The most common idioms, this is very common to say, piece of cake. What could possibly be easier to tackle than a piece of cake? A piece of cake is something that's so deliciously easy you could do it with your eyes closed, right? A hot potato. Before heading to the supper table at the next family reunion, you might want to make no, a note to avoid hot potato political talk. In other words, avoid awkward or converse, controversial topics. Hmm. So I guess it means uh, baked potatoes remain scorching inside long after they've been removed from the heat. People are always very cautious when handling them. These are the slang words no one from your state will understand. Another common idiomatic expression is once in a blue moon, which means that it's very uncommon, I believe. So when someone says it happens once in a blue moon, you know that whatever they're talking about is a rare occurrence. For example, when does on a mountain come to visit? A real astronomical phenomenon, a blue moon, moon appearing in 1.7 years, once every... So you can see that idioms have their origin, this webpage, idioms the idioms.com, uh, I guess it's like a dictionary of idioms. I should take a look at that uh, for writing music. Raining cats and dogs. Close your eyes and imagine the loudest cat. Does the thunder boom like a bark of giant beasts? Perhaps it's to the Library of Congress, the origin of raining cats and dogs is still unclear. It's an ancient idiom that could be rooted in the Norse mythology, medieval superstitions or that animals in the streets of Britain being picked up by stone waters. You might be familiar with the legend that says cats and dogs once fell from their perches 
and thatched jet roofs during storms. However, this has been shrugged off as a ridiculous tale. What we do know is that animal related idioms from the dog days of summer to cut, got your tongue, are used plain fun to weave into your daily dialogue. Uh, this means that it is raining very hard <laughs> when pigs fly. So when pigs are gonna fly, that's probably never. <laughs> it's like saying till hell freezes over. So it, all these idioms refer to something impossible or highly unlikely. Mm -hmm. We also have to look at the definition of hyperbole. Uh, devil's advocate. According to Merriam Webster, a devil's advocate is the person who champions the less accepted cause for the sake of argument. That time you argued that we could all learn about dinosaurs from Jurassic Park, <laughs> one of the most scientifically inaccurate movies of all time. You are definitely playing devil's advocate. Sometimes being a devil's advocate in a debate is fun, but it can be lonely if you know you're only one who sees things the way you do. Missing your boat, uh, according to Bloomsbury International School in London, warning others not to miss the boat can be traced back to the early 1900s when passenger boat travel became more mainstream. But what, is this, what does this mean? You dream job before the deadline, you miss the boat. Yeah, it's missing a deadline or losing a chance. Apple of the eye, right? If someone's blessing in this, but it isn't. So another can open. Oh, I'm wrong. Some good's coming from something bad. Um, idioms. A storm of short-term sickness under the weather means I have been a little sick lately. So in order to master the English language, you really need to be able to understand idioms at a basic level, just at a basic level. You should just uh, understand the, the most common idioms. Where went over meaning? We're gonna look at some examples so you can practice. It's raining cats and dogs. What does this mean? The cats and dogs falling from the sky. That it is raining very hard, or there are lots of pets. A, B, or C. The correct answer is that it is raining very hard. A piece of cake means something that is very good something that is very beautiful or something that is very easy. Okay, this just means something that is very easy. Correct. As fresh as a daisy, this means you're full of energy, you're very young, you're new at somewhere. I think it's being full of energy. Hmm. I Correct. Be... Oh no, I am right. Okay. Have ants in your pants. What does it mean to have ants in your pants? Does it mean that you collect insects? Does it mean that you're sitting on the grass? Does it mean that you are not able to sit still? I think it's you're not able to sit still. Correct. Yeah, that which it also means that you're not able to, to stay still that you always need to be doing something that you're very energetic, you're very hyper. Break the ice. Let's break the ice means you're very strong. You are the first to do or say something or you like cold drinks. So it just means that you're the first to do or say something. Correct. Skeletons in your closet. This means uh, that you have secrets, or does it mean that your closet is full of skeletons, literally? <laughs> or does it mean that you are not afraid of anything? Okay, this one means that you have secrets that you don't want to... to the Correct! World to 
if you shake a leg, uh, what is what does this mean? Does it mean to dance with someone, to hurry up, or to shake your leg to get a bug off of it? I think it means to hurry up. Correct. Good, 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 good. We're going good. Hold your horses. If I tell you to hold your horses, does it mean to ride a horse? Does it mean to stop your car? Or does it mean to be patient? Hold your horses means to be patient. All right. On cloud nine. Okay, this one I'm not sure. Be very happy or excited. Be confused. Be on the ninth floor. Hmm. 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 Maybe very happy. Correct. Wow. It is very happy. Okay. Uh, drop in the bucket. Is this a very small part of something? Or to be thirsty, to be thirsty, or it's raining a little? It's like a, a drop in the ocean, the ocean. So it means like very small part. Correct. Something. Good, 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 good. A, lo a, leopard, a, a leopard can't change his spots. This means you're afraid of animals. Does it mean that you are a rude person? Does it mean that you cannot change who you are? It means that you cannot change who you are. Correct. Now, these idioms are also known as global metaphors. It doesn't mean that you need to believe them. I mean, it's good that you understand them, but you don't have to believe them. In this example, I don't believe that someone cannot change who they are. I believe the total opposite, that you're in total control or who you want to become. A picture paints a thousand words. Uh, does this mean that uh, make a picture with words does this mean that a visual presentation is more descriptive, descriptive than words? Or does it mean that pictures must be described? This one means that a visual presentation is way more descriptive than words. Correct. Good. OK, that's it for idioms. Be aware that some expressions don't mean literally what they seem to mean <laughs> but it's very common this is common in any other language there are expressions that are not they don't have the literal meaning but it's like figurative type sense we'll, next week we're going to finish looking at grammar tomorrow we don't have tutoring and um I will see you next week. Thanks so much.